Hey guys, this is Sadhu Rocks for Life here, and I'm kind of biting off of what my good voice actor friend HLM Act Triple I has done on his channel, and I'm doing my first ever voice acting mem. Yay! <laughs> um, <laughs> I when I first read the word, I thought it was Mimi. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that better. But anyway, at first, <laughs> at first, I didn't think I was. I don't know, qualified to do this questionnaire only because I'm a voice actor newbie. Um, you know, I, I felt like I don't have enough voice productions on my channel to answer some of these questions. But as the wise HLM Act Triple I has said, everyone has a story. And that's true. I think everyone does have a story. And I'm here to tell mine. Uh, and I hope you know, you find it interesting and and fun to listen to. So I guess here we go. <sighs> Pretty long story, but I first started acting when I was seven, and my first theater production was Anton Chekhov's The, the Cherry Orchard. And I, ever since then, I grew up in theater throughout middle school, junior high, high school. Then my last year of high school, senior year, was a very confusing time for me. It was a really confusing time in the sense of, of what I'm going to do for the rest of my life um, as a career. Um, a lot of my family members, yes, I guess you can say, pushed me into doing something in the science field. So I thought, okay, let's, let's do marine biology. And it <laughs> turns out that didn't work out for me at all. But what really reaffirm reassure or I guess I can say reaffirmed me towards theater would be when I did this uh, theater production called Alice in Wonderland and I did the tea mouse the, the yeah the teacup mouse and the red queen and a, and I think one more I don't remember but I don't know just that was a time where I really felt like this is what I wanted to do like I had the butterflies in my stomach the the excitement slash nervousness of of acting which I just love and I just knew that this is home for me this is what I want to do period I can't see myself doing anything else but acting is what I really want to do so now I am studying theater in college it's my last year pretty excited about that my first voice acting experience would be um well, I registered, I think in 2008, I registered for Voice Acting Alliance, but I didn't really get to audition or didn't want to audition for anything because I was just so timid and so shy and so scared and nervous about putting my voice out there and what other people would think until <laughs> we were going way forward now. I think it was 2011 in the summer, I went to this voice acting workshop for Bang Zoom Entertainment and I was in intermediate class. I got to work with Tony Oliver. Great guy. Um, and that reassured that I had, I had the ability to do this, to voice act. Tony Oliver said to me, he said, first off, you're a great actress. The thing is, you have to get what you're thinking in your head out. Because that's what stops me from, from I guess, showing my abilities, if that makes any sense. So, and I got to meet a bunch of great people there. Um, I actually met with someone who's pretty famous in the My Little Pony community. Um, her name is, her nickname is Brie, and she's done po uh, Pinkie Pie in Epic Cupcake Time. I met her, and I met, you know, Matt and Janet and Mike. Big shout out to all of them. They're just a group of just talented and really great people. And then I decided, officially I decided... <laughs> Uh, November 2011. So yeah, I am, uh, it's pretty recent that I started all this. And, um, ever since then, I'm going strong. I think about 11 so far. Some haven't been out just yet. I'm hoping they'll be, well, they'll come out soon. But yeah, um, hoping it, my work increases from there. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> alright, 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 here we go. My dear Twilight, there's more to a young pony's life than just studying. Uh, so that, that was Spike from My Little Pony, 
and um, be on the lookout for it. I, I, I guess I can openly say that I'm in this My Little Pony slash turn uh, slash sorry slash Phoenix Wright project called Turnabout Storm, which is getting a lot of attention. And I'll be in part three. I was eventually in part one doing Rainbow Dash, but now I'm in part three doing Spike. So be on the lookout for that. That's going to be really great. <sighs> um, I guess I can split that up into genders. My favorite all-time voice actress in the freaking world is Tara Strong. Oh, she's just such an incredible voice actress. Um, you know, just to name a few, she's in Bubbles and Powerpuff Girls, Raven and Teen Titans, and just so much more. But anyway, my, my voice, my favorite voice actor, oh, my favorite voice actor, holy crap, oh, um, ah. Oh. This is a tough one, actually. Mm. Okay, I, I guess I can say that my favorite voice actor is Crispin Freeman. And I love his work ethics. Like, he really analyzes his characters and really hones in on the story. And he just wants to make everything right. I don't know if that makes any sense, but just he's so analytical. Analytical. He's so analytical. He really is. And... And his passion for acting, you could see it, like, it seeps through um, his voice acting. Like, it seeps, like, when you watch an anime that has his voice in it, like, you could just feel just, just the passion of what he really does in life. Ugh, I don't know what to say about that. And the only thing I can say about that is that I'm just, you know, not knowing a lot of these voice actors on VEA and on YouTube, I'm just really looking forward to just working with them and really forward to just getting to know these guys and, you know, working with people who have as much passion as I do in acting. Okay, so I first started off with the blue snowball and then I upgraded to the Yeti. And I must say, that has worked wonders for me. Really, wonders. I absolutely love my, my mic so far. Um, haven't had any problems with it, so I highly recommend the Yeti. Oh man, that's, that's easy. I mean, the best thing about it is that you can try out new, um, new voices and new acting techniques, and you really have this great community of voice actors that really critiques you and really want to help you, um, you know, just do what you do even better. How, the way I look at it, weak point and strong point as in my abilities, I guess my ability-wise, my weak point would be that I'm really trying to stop right now would be um, sometimes when I say sentences, I tend to stop um, in the middle or in certain parts of the sentence, if that makes any sense, instead of having one fluid uh, sound, one continual fluid sound. If that, I don't know if that makes any sense, does it? I guess weak point in general would be trying to get my lines in on time. Yeah, that's a pretty big problem for me at this point, only because, you know, I'm a senior in college and I'm trying to just be in so many things as possible and just so many things are going on that when you audition for these certain projects, you think, oh, I have I have the time to do this. And then as time moves along, you realize, fuck, I don't have, I'm overworked at this point. So that's, that's been my, that's been my biggest problem, actually. Um, and strong points in voice acting, abilities, ability wise, strong point. I, I'm such a pessimist that I don't see any strong abilities. I'm, I'm so hard on myself. I guess my strong point in voice acting when I do these projects, I just, I try to put myself into it 100%. I'm really hardworking. That, I guess that is my strong point, really hardworking. And I'm really passionate about what I do. And I, I want to put myself into it 100%. I don't want to hold anything back. And yeah, I think that that's it. Huh. That's something that I just figured out right now. That's great. Um, I really hope that, you know, you guys enjoyed my story. I'm sorry that to maybe some of you it was boring. I'm sorry. Um, but I really hope that, you know, it really assures you that, that for all voice actors and actors and just people in general, that you are not alone, that, that the same problems that you are having 
we are all having. So I want to really tell people that to never give up and to continue doing what you love. Because yeah, there may be people that, you know, want to stop you all for good reasons, all for bad reasons. You know, once you find that, that passion, that, that drive to do something that, that you never stop. So yeah, don't let anybody, don't let anyone say that, that you can't do something because you can. And I believe that, you know, with, once you have that support system, then there's, there's nothing stopping you. But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I hope it was interesting. And, um, (laughs) I just really hope that you didn't get bored of me. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm doing this, but all right. Um, thanks for watching and goodbye.